excited, so excited for the first meeting, guys. Okay, awesome. If you didn't know what was happening, welcome to RITSEC, Security Through Community. We're RIT Sex. RIT Sex. We're RIT Cybersecurity Club. So exciting. We're going to do some e board introductions. E board stands for Executive Board, Elective Board, other evil board, maybe. I don't know. That's what it stands for. I'm the president. There are so many pictures on this slide. It's going to take forever. Um, I'm the president. I'm Casey Kiggins. Hi, nice to meet you all. I'm a third year cybersecurity major. Hi, Dan. Hi. <laughs> Um, I'm a hardware enthusiast. Uh, I was double majoring in CE, but then like graduation, that would take forever. So I'm a CE minor, yes? The music was stopped. <laughs> um, I can't read. <laughs> I, I do too many things in club. So if you need advice on what's going on, I've probably done the thing in club. Um, I play rugby, I play volleyball, I climb. On, I'm, I'm on every single intramural team that we have with the club. Um, take care of your skin. Wear sunscreen, please. Um, I drink a lot of coffee. My boyfriend's in Dubai, and I'm a pilot. That's really cool. Hi, everybody. My name is Rachel Leone. I'm a fourth year cybersecurity major. Um, and these are all these pictures of all my friends. Um, I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> Give it up for New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nice to meet all of you. Hello. Who the hell? Who am I? Um, hello, everyone. My name is Kip. I'm not a third year. Oops. Um, I'm a senior now, somehow. I really like climbing. I got a lot of us here into climbing. If anyone ever wants to climb with me, thank you, Britt. If anyone ever wants to climb with me, I always write down when I'm going in the club room. Um, I ride boards of many kinds. I play a little guitar. I'm really bad at math. Um, talk to me about barrels. Titanfall 3 would be cool. Silk Song 2, none of them are going to happen. Um, feel free to talk to me about anything. Nice to meet y'all. Hi, guys. I'm Leah. Um, what? I'm Leah. <laughs> um, this is my second year. Um, I'm majoring in cybersecurity, uh, minoring in MIS and music performance. I'm also from New Jersey. Um, do not ask what I did this summer. I'm also on the CCDC team, um, which is cyber collegiate cyber defense competition. That's us. Um, red team and black team. More pictures. That's it. What's up, guys? I'm David. Um, I have a couple photos up here. Bottom left, that's me and Michael Scals. That's also me next to that holding a crocodile as a kid. Uh, the rest of the photos don't really need explaining. I'm just staying out the way these days. I'm pretty serious about eboard. Um, professional narcoleptic, yeah, there's a photo of me sleeping in the club room. There's a lot of photos. Some of you may know Slide Roulette. Last year's Slide Roulette, it was actually just a montage of me asleep in the club room with different people's selfies. Uh, yes, I'm from Boston. I've been working on it. I say room like rum, like I'm in the rum right now, but I get bullied a lot for it. It's not fun. I'm the spiritual leader of V-Rig. Uh, that's our vulnerability research. The leader of V-Rig just flipped me the bird. It's not very fun. <laughs> I'm the co-lead for war driving, but really I put that so Maxim can feel better. I'm actually the lead of war driving. <laughs> Is Max? Maxim? Maxim's not even here today. Do you want to do a slide? Yeah, I'll do Maxim's slide. Um, yeah, this is my slide. Thanks, everybody. Maxim. Here's Maxim's slide. <laughs> Somewhere here, if you look in the top right, that's Chase Killoran and Maxim doing the Dwayne Wade photo. Um, <laughs> excuse me, Casey. This is his AI-generated girlfriend. She's actually not real. Nobody's ever met her, ever. Her name is Maggie. I call her ChatGPT. Um, you can't see it, but there's a photo of Maxim like asleep in bed right here that's very funny to look at. Uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of great photos. Oh, I forgot he actually has... Oh, he's from Staten Island. If anyone's from Staten Island, I'm sorry. It's just like a trash heap. Um, New Jersey extension. He's a third year. Yeah, here's him sleeping. <laughs> he works for DHS. Um, he's a federal agent, so there's a bunch of boring rules he follows. Um, yeah, he works. He's on the ops team. You guys should like get interested in ops and help out. Uh, he's on red team. That's not true. He loves V Rig. Yeah, V Rig is great. It's like seven to ten p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. He's, yeah, he's the war driving co lead. He's like the co lead. He's not. He's like vice president of war driving. Hey, I'm Drew. I'm hi. I'm your ISTSCA. Um, one of the competition architects with Maxim, who's also not here. Um, I'm a fourth year. I'm from Massachusetts, just like David. I also say Rome. Um, it's okay. You'll get used to it. Um, I'm working at SRA when I graduate on the advisory red team. Um, I work for Tech Crew. Um, I hope you guys saw them drive around campus uh, blasting music during orientation. Yeah, that's us. Um, I like hockey. You should go to all the hockey games, too. RIT has some really cool hockey games. Yep, definitely go there. Um, I'm a red team chief with Sohail, who's not here because he has class till one. Um, I'm on CCDC too. Um, you should also look into, into joining CCDC. Um, and I was the end for lead. It's a little bit of black team there. I'm Will Dandrade. Pronounce it Dandrade. My last name is apostrophe. I'm the head of research of RITSEC. I'm a second year CSEC BSMS. And I'm a huge hummus enthusiast. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Big hiking, cooking, culinary, baking, coffee guy. That's what I'm doing in my free time. I'm Dan's college mother, as you can see in the top right. He can't cook or clean, but I can. Uh, I'm a Maple Leafs fan, so I don't like Drew Young that much. And also, I'm an IRIG fanboy. Most important interest group. All right, well, uh, it's my turn. So my name's Lucas Peters. You'll probably see me uh, as Count on Discord because I'm on Discord a lot. Um, I'm a third year CSEC major. I am also an NTID supporter, meaning I'm cross-registered. Um, and I'm, I was, I was, because I'm cross-registered, I was born deaf uh, with cochlear implants at three years old. So be patient with me. I'm not, I might not hear you, right, for the first time. Um, I'm also from Ohio, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I just finished a co-op at PNC. That was cool. Uh, I'm also a maintainer of uh, OpSpot 3 on yeah, you see on Discord. I know it's not very good right now, but we'll get there. Uh, and then for ISTS, I'm the COF co-lead. Uh, which you'll hear more about because I'll preach it. And you'll see me at hockey games on the camera probably uh, because I'm working for RIT Sports Network. So cool. And I like to do volleyball, soccer, and climbing. All right. All right, fine. Okay. John Arendelle is the only member we announced. Oh. Yeah. Right. Maxim's still not here. We have a really funny bit and we need Maxim for it and he's not here. So. Are we just going to skip John's slide until Maxim gets here? Yeah. Then we go into announcements. No. Oh, well, we go into Dan. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, we can go to Dan. <laughs> okay, here you go, tech lead. Okay, hi, everyone. I'm Dan. I'm from the great state of Connecticut. Yeah, that's, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. And yeah, okay. Um, I'm a big Bills fan. I have season tickets, so I go to a lot of games. I love Buffalo Wings. Ask me about my favorite places in Buffalo. I know some good wings. And then uh, I like boating and climbing, as you can see from the pictures. And I also co-lead the uh, wireless interest group that meets on Wednesdays. I will talk about that more later, though. Yeah. OK. Anthony, get up here. No. <laughs> Anthony, get up here. Come on. I, this is my time, Casey. I want, I want Anthony to introduce himself, because you're like the heart and soul of the club. No. Clap it up for Anthony, everybody. Woo! Uh, I, I'm Anthony. Professional time waster right here. Oh, 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 oh. I said four words. Yes! 
Maxim. That's where I called you up. Welcome, Maxim. John Arundel! Is the night side still there? <laughs> no, the one before. <laughs> no, we got rid of the night slide. <laughs> There's no night slide. <laughs> Max, and we did your slide. You took forever. Yeah. Anyways, here, David, you can introduce John. <laughs> yeah. John's a cool guy. Um, as you can see by his photos, he's clearly a cool guy. He's basically the spiritual lead of Ritzek, because, like, if you think about it, we have a bunch of servers, and without them, we'd be pretty useless. And he just, like, does it. He's from Connecticut, unfortunately. Yeah. Also, yeah. Boo. He's also, unfortunately, on Tech Crew. Those are the only two bad parts of John. Um, I think that might be his cat in the bottom left. I don't actually know. Uh, yeah, so that's John Arendelle. He's a CS major also, not cybersecurity. Yeah, he also scheduled class 12 to 4 so that he couldn't be here. Good luck getting his flag. Anyways, we can move on to the announcements. Yay! But yeah, do you want to do them as head of education? Because oh. this is your job? Cool, go. Hey guys, join the Discord. I feel like if you're here, you're in the Discord. But like, I don't know, take a picture of this, like send it to your friends so they can join. People scanning? Scan. Scan. Lucas, did you drop the sign in? Awesome. Okay, we're going to move on. Now that you're in the Discord, go to the management category and then the channel that says sign in and then press sign in. And then since you do that, you get pizza later. You have to be signed in to get pizza later. Mm -hmm. We also have a calendar. Is that the QR code to the calendar? It is. There you go. That's where we have all the interest groups, like when they're meeting throughout the week, and then our meetings and other events, like uh, social events on the weekends. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, if you want to know what we're doing, it's on the calendar. <laughs> we also have a mailing list. What do we send in this list? The newsletter. The newsletter. I, the one went out today. Mm -hmm. uh, important information in the newsletter. So you should sign up. Yeah, David. David's okay. Hi, guys. Have you noticed we're a club and we have club resources? Me too. So we have single sign-on for the club that you need to sign up for. And if you want to like use our service stack, if you want to participate in random stuff that we own, then you need to make an account for the SSO. The only exception is the open stack that you just need to set a bomb password that's really good. But like all of our other services use SSO, so. Especially like when we get to the demos, you're probably gonna want this. I think you need SSO to sign in maybe. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys some time to scan this QR code and then like an additional 30 seconds to figure out how to do it because it's honestly not that intuitive. Um, yeah, you just need your RIT email and then you should get signed up. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah. Leave it up there. I'm leaving it up. Yeah. That's copyright. We're streaming. Okay. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We post things. Mm -hmm. Mailing this is twice. <laughs> sponsors! We got sponsors! Touch more on this later, but we have social events like next Friday at Perkins, where there's a volleyball net. We're gonna have a barbecue after the meeting that includes free food. I know you guys love free food. Super cool. If you're on the calendar, you'd see this scheduled. Uh, intro to Ritzek, including all of us. The general meeting, which is what you guys are attending right now. Here's the general meeting. 
every Friday, 12 to 4, right here in this room, unless we announce otherwise, because other places can also reserve this room and get priority access because they're better than a student organization. I don't know. Um, yeah, except for special weeks. Um, and then we're split up into two main sections. We have the education slides, which is what we're in now, which is what Leah runs, super fun and cool. Um, and that also includes the demo time, which is what Dan does over there, also super fun and swag. Um, we take a break for pizza, free pizza every time you sign in, super great. Um, and then we have research, two hours run by Will Dandrade, super exciting, with, se with security news. Um, and then presentations <laughs> given by you guys, our members, maybe sometimes alum, maybe sometimes sponsors. Who knows? But they'll be presenting. Oh, I just explained all the education. Cool. Education. Do you want to talk about it? Education. Cool. Demos. You want to talk about them? Okay, so there is a like year-long CTF uh, competition that goes on. Uh, we call them demos. They're just like uh, hands-on experience that relate to the education topic from that week. Generally, there's about five challenges. There's two easy, two medium, and a hard one. Um, and just basically the person at the end of the year, or the top three people at the end of the year that have the most points get some special goodies. And you had a question. Yeah. And you had a question. What's the, what's the Capture the flag competition. Basically, it's just um, it, like it's what you're trying to find is just a string. I, I uh, you're trying to find a string. You type it into like some website that we have. Yeah. Say that. There's codes hidden on the computer that you find, and yeah. then you enter them on the website. But you get it's points. it's not it's not just hidden on the computer. There's also it could also be hidden in like wireless signals. That's just what I default to. Uh, go wireless. <laughs> So it could be hidden in like wireless signals. It could be just like talking to someone like today. You'll see today during demo time from one to two. It's just the competition for today is just going to be talking to eboard members. Each of us, eboard and IG members, each of us has a flag, and then you just type it in. You earn points that way. Yeah, do your demos. You have anything else for for research? Yeah, research. We're going to get a few presenters going. They're going to give you some informational tidbits. It's going to be a good time. You're going to see some cool research. You're going to learn some stuff. It's going to be good. Oh, I do. Score. <laughs> when you research, you also get some cool rewards. You got the RITSEC lanyard, the USB drive, the lock pick set, and then it gets really good. You get the pad folio, the UB key. 15 presentations, you get a rubber ducky slash pineapple. 25, you get the all new for 2024 Ritzek Extreme Swag Pack. You get a custom Ritzek jacket, Carhartt jacket, a nice high quality jacket. You get a hat, and then you get a challenge coin. Cool. It comes in the Extreme Swag set, yes. Sorry if that was unclear. Excuse me, yes. So the, the, what was that again? The challenge, the challenge coin? Oh, yes. The challenge coin is included in the extreme swag pack, which you get at 25 presentations, which I want all of you to hit this semester. Okay. Thank you, Noah. <laughs> Research swag. So you get this by doing presentations and also blog posts, which I'll get into later. So you can do a blog post where you give some informational tidbits online, or you can do it in person in a nice little research presentation. Both of them are public facing. The presentations get streamed. It's going to be good. I agree. Cool. Oh. This is your slide, Will. Oh, yeah. All new for 2024. <laughs> <laughs> we have the research. We have the research competition. Do you have a personal project that requires funding? Briefly pitch your research idea to the cabal of capital and the entire club. The cabal will decide the fate of your research. <laughs> and using these earned research items, present what you did to the club later on. Cipriana, do you have a question? <laughs> well, Repeat see, the question. So Cipriana likes to ask, why are we looking at money through a microscope? And that is clearly because we are researching, and to research you need money. Mm -hmm. And this is a 
a metaphor for the money that research requires. If your research requires funding and you pitch it and it's a good thing, we will help provide funding for your research. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Conditional money. Conditional. Ritzek blog. This is a nice place to post your research online because now it's more public. You can read it and it'll stay there. And another way to get and uh, excuse me, another avenue of sharing your research with the club. You can scan this QR code, play around, look at it. It's going to be great. Oh, no, I don't think that's Competitions. Competition lingo. Do one of the CAs want to explain it? Cool. All right. So, as RIT SEC, um, we host a few competitions. There's also other like cybersecurity competitions that happen not just hosted by us. We also attend a few. Um, and you'll see a bunch of teams. We'll be saying a bunch of words like this. Um, so Black Team is one of the teams. Black Team is the team that sets up the infrastructure for the competition. Um, they'll make like the injects, which are like the little tasks you have to do throughout the competition. So it might be like bring up a web server or like give us inventory of all your devices, something like that. Uh, Blue Team, that's the team. There's a lot of those teams. Those are the teams that defend against the attackers, against the red team. Um, the blue team's goal is to keep their services up, complete injects, and do whatever else they're assigned to do throughout the competition. Red team's the bad team, the evil team. Um, they're the team tasked with taking down the blue team services and attacking the blue team, maintaining persistence on all their machines, stuff like that. Uh, purple team, usually this means that the blue teams can attack other blue teams, which usually isn't a thing during competitions. Usually it's just red team attacks blue teams. But when it's purple team, you can attack other blue teams. So. That's what ISTS is, plug for ISTS. Um, and white team, white team assists black team. Um, they'll go around and they'll, they'll, assign with, they'll work with NGX. Um, they'll help you out with questions throughout the competition um, if like blue team has questions about, I don't know, whatever's going on. Um, and yeah, there's two types of competitions that we kind of host here and just in general. Um, so we have red versus blue, which is IRSEC and ISTS. That's what we were just talking about with the blue team keeping the services up, red team attacking type thing. And CTFs, which, um, Dan would very, very detail, uh, give a very detailed explanation about. So you should all know what a CTF is now. Let's go, Dan. Um, uh, yeah. So our our first competition uh, upcoming November second. Uh, I know you guys might be saying, "Oh, I have, I have stuff to do that day. I'm going home. I have a flight." No, you don't. You don't. No. I I canceled all of your flights. I canceled all your plans. You're, you're going to be here November second. Uh, competing in my red versus blue team competition. IRSEC stands for Incident Response Security Competition. Um, it's going to be incident response focused. Uh, all as first years or just as beginners, even if you're not a first year, uh, you're most likely going to be put into blue teams. Uh, there's going to be uh, 15 blue teams, and you'll all be given your own like mini infrastructures to defend while the red team, which is all RIT members, they will be attacking your infrastructure. So you're going to be looking at how to fix it, how to remediate it, and defend against future attacks. Uh, there will be five people per team. You can come uh, like submit the form as a team, or you can go individual, and we'll place you into a team. Um, and yeah, up, if you're worried about not having like any experience, don't worry, because this competition is completely beginner focused. Uh, the four weeks before this competition, throughout October, uh, I'll be hosting blue team workshops where you will, uh, I'll teach you all the skill, not me, but uh, we'll teach you all the skills that you need to be a successful blue team. Uh, and you'll be well prepared, and it's going to be a great time. Ooh. We have a RITSEC CTF. If Rachel, the VP who was CTF CA last year, where is she? Ready? Ready? Everybody clap for Rachel. Rachel! Woo! Woo! Talk about the CTF. Hi, everybody. So in uh, last year, I was the CTF CA, which is Capture the Flag Competition Architect. Sorry, I didn't realize why you were calling me. Now I understand. <laughs> um, so we have these different categories. Last year I had seven uh, web. Um, we had pwn, uh, bin, 
uh, forensics, crypto reversing. If you've never seen a CTF challenge or a competition before, no worries. I've never actually participated in one, and then I had to run one. Um, so, so exciting. Uh, there's different categories, and then there's also like different levels of challenges. Um, but overall, it's a really good time. You get to make a team, and um, it's really fun. So please join. There's also goodies for the winners. Oh, yeah, we posted on CTF time, so it's like international, but only the RITSEC teams win goodies. Uh, but you're competing against like professionals. We have a few thousand participants each year. It's kind of crazy. We're kind of a big deal. <laughs> we also host ISTS, Information Security Talent Search, because all of you have talent, and everyone wants it. So um, this runs in the spring of 2025. Um, this year, or this next year, this academic year, um, it's February 28th to March 2nd, so free that date in your calendar. Um, that's going to be important. Um, so what that is, is we bring in alumni and just industry people as the red team, and they try to hack students like you guys and other colleges that come here to visit us because it's, it's a national competition. We bring a bunch of teams here. Uh, like We've had people from California, from Florida, um, you know, everywhere, everywhere. Um, you can purple team. So the blue teams are purple teaming there. They're attacking the other teams, um, not red team, but other blue teams. You can attack other blue teams. Um, so that keeps things very interesting. There's a king of the hill challenge, um, which uh, someone's running it. You're running it. What? Um, king of the hill? That's a, I was just getting there. I'm so glad you asked. Um, king of the hill is a challenge. Um, there's a bunch of machines that will exist that have vulnerabilities on them. And as a blue team, you'll hack into those boxes. And once you're in, you'll type a little, a little thing and it's going to claim it for your team um, until someone else breaks in. So then you have to maintain access to that machine and keep typing that string. That way you always have that machine locked down, um, and other teams can't take it from you. So that's a fun little thing. Um, there's other games that we have. Last year we had like a Nerf gun type thing. Um, oh, I, I ran it last year. It was super fun. Um, you had to like steal from the bank and you had to like lock pick but then there was a dual part of it because it was the wild west and we had a nerf blaster we're not allowed to say gun on campus a nerf blaster <laughs> a nerf bla <laughs> a nerf blaster like war so like you're lock picking and then your partner was like trying to like uh hit the other people with the darts which was really cool and in the past we played like a game of like tag but through the computer crazy stuff. Um, there's a mini CTF that goes on too. Um, you should know what a CTF is. Rachel explained it and someone else explained it. Um, oh, Dan explained it. So I hope you know what a CTF is. Um, and yeah, other, other schools from across the nation, we mentioned that. Um, and yeah, alumni, sponsor, industry people, red team. So yeah, it should be a good time. Next, we have Cora. So we need Adam and Ronan up here. Ooh. Let's go, Ronan. Take the mic. Thank you. you deserve it. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. What? <laughs> All right. So just a brief overview. So Adam and I run IRIG, which is the incident response interest group. Um, this is our newest and, I think, the most exciting uh, uh, competition that we're running. It is extremely beginner-focused. And the way that we've set up our infrastructure, we can guarantee you a spot if you enter. Um, it's a King of the Hill competition, and um, so I know that was already reviewed a little bit, but um, this is very relaxed. Um, people are not going to be hacking into your boxes. Your job is to hack into the boxes um, that we've set up and try to claim them from other teams, perhaps, if somebody else has it claimed. Um, so honestly, the worst thing that happens is if you enter, you just come with us and like goof off for a couple hours. <laughs> but um, so we're very excited to announce that it is top secret theme that's going to be released in this video. <laughs> but um, we're going to be providing uh, question and answer sessions and also instructional presentations during our time at IRIG. So um, you should be totally prepared for uh, when the competition actually happens. Um, again, uh, October 19th is the date that we've planned for this. Um, subject to change, but we're pretty set on that date. Um, and you can enter as a team of four. Um, just follow that uh, scan. QR code thing for the submission. Um, or you can enter as a free agent, which is if you have no team, we'll assign you one. So, cool. No. Uh, yeah, he basically covered the whole thing. Uh, we do like to go a bit extra. 
<laughs> so we made this hype news video for you guys that relates to the theme. So if this interests you and you want to have some fun, then here you go. Okay. One last one. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, we gotta get the lights. I'll be back. We'll wait. Wait for the lights. How do we, um... You gotta... The, 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 the desktop yeah. audio is not picking up. Can we call and text? Sorry. Can I'm pretty sure it's this one that says it's not No, 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 because the he's sharing his audio, which should go to over here in the Zoom, but it's not. Yeah, I don't think I can... Yeah. This will also be posted in the iRig announcements channel, so make sure you join the incident response role and roll join. Um, yeah, just mute your laptop, too. Yeah. It's, it, it's <laughs> well, just hold your thing to it, and... Uh, no, that'll be safe. Oh, 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 oh. Last year, I went to Cora. I was a little skeptical at first. You know, they, they threw it together in a few weeks, but it was a great competition. Yeah. Okay. They really know their stuff. They put it together well. It's great. You should go. I'm sorry. We're gonna push the wait. We're gonna push this video to after the introduction slides uh, because of technical difficulties. No, it's it's good. It worked on my laptop, but then I remembered. Oh wait, the streaming system up here kind of weird. Sometimes the cameras don't work. You'll learn. You'll learn. Uh, yeah, you got the light. You got the light. Okay, you got another light. You gotta hit. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, news video will be soon. Awesome and cool and swag. Mentorship program. Guys, okay, so as the head of education, I'm running the mentorship program. It used to be the head of research's thing, but not anymore. Um, basically, if you are new here, or if you're not new here, you can sign up and, um, connect with rich like upperclassmen and work on research projects. Basically, yeah, it's like uh, upperclassmen, they have either mentorship groups, um, which they're putting together right now. They're, they've got descriptions for me that they have to write and uh, lesson plans. Mm -hmm. And then I will post that and you can take a look at it and choose which ones most interest you. Um, you know, there's different levels of difficulty, different, like a wide variety of things that you can do with that. And then there's also one-on-one -on -one mentorship which might be a little bit more limited since you can only, you know, we have a limited number of people versus like multiple students in a group. But same thing with that. That's kind of like catered towards you. Um, you get to, you know, have someone help you out with the club, whatever you need. Uh, if you're new to cybersecurity, you don't know what you're doing, they can help you figure out what to do if you want to work on something. Yeah, it's basically very open-ended, but it's a really good opportunity to get to know people in the club um, and just get more involved through this way. Um, yeah, here's some past projects. Uh, if you guys have heard of rubber duckies, it's cool. It's like hacking. <laughs> We're driving. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was personally, uh, I last year I was a mentee and I did blue team stuff with Lucas. <laughs> um, and it was great and I learned a lot. So yeah. Um, and if you are in a group, you will have to present to the club on what you do at the end of the year or the semester, depending on how long the group runs. Um, but it's a good way to, you know, just get started and do it. Just do it, guys. Please sign up. I'll send it out soon. Fun way to learn. We have our interest groups next. Yay! <laughs> our interest our interest groups are kind of, yeah, I guess most of, like, eboard can sit down. Yeah, you do, Dan. You have to stay. Oh, do I have to sit Am down? I You're, Am I yeah, yeah, it's chill. You guys can go down. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll just give this to you for later. Um, interest groups are kind of like mini club meetings on a specific topic in security. 
Um, we'll, we'll get into the topics because each of them have a slide, but they're really fun and cool. If you're in the calendar, you can see when all of the, all the interest groups are, and we're gonna have all the leads come up and speak about their little groupy group. So first, we got Red Team. All right, as mentioned previously, you guys know what Red Team does. Who wants to guess or remind us what Red Team does? Okay, well, you already know what Red Team does, but there's a, there's a hand back here. What does Red Team do? It just walks. Evil. Okay, yeah, Red Team's evil. Okay, good enough, I'll take that. All right, so, um, Red Team simulates attacks. Um, specifically in our scenario is against teams. Um, but just in general, it's like an industry term. It, it's against organizations. Um, and the purpose of that is to identify security vulnerabilities. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to write malware and we're going to deploy malware on computers and everything in, in the cloud and, and computers and everything like that for competitors that they're going to be protecting. Uh, we're going to have malware on there and maintain access to the machines throughout the entire competition. Um, so we have two type of things for that. One of them is Red Team Recruiting. That's every Thursday from 9 to 10. I hope you don't have an early bedtime. Um, what we're going to do there is present some things, like some tool talks, um, some techniques, and stuff like that of how to Red Team, how to write a Red Team tool, how to deploy malware, stuff like that. Um, then we have actual Red Team, which is like deploying in the competitions. So Red Team Recruiting, once you have a tool and attend a couple competitions, there's a few requirements, which we'll go over in the first Red Team meeting. Um, you then get deployment rights to deploy um, during competitions, which is what Red Team does here for competitions like IRSEC, which is maximum competition, UB Lockdown, and CCDC Mini Comp. Cool. Thank you, Drew. Next we have, they're not an interest group, we have a partnership with them, the Women in Cybersecurity uh, student chapter here on campus. Woo! Hi. This is Izzy. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm the vice president of WESIS. Um, Maddie couldn't be here because class, so. Maddie? Oh, Maddie's our president, <laughs> by the way. Um, I'm the vice president, Maddie's our president. Um, Sonia is over there, she's our secretary, and Lily is over there, she's our, I couldn't see you, I'm sorry. She's our treasurer. Um, pretty much, we as WESIS are a um, group that meets every Tuesday at five o'clock. We are um, in this room, um, except for our first and last meeting, but that is posted on our Instagram if you'd like to follow us. We also have a website, which is WESIS um, at RIT. If you look it up, it'll come up as the first link. Um, we are a chapter of a bigger organization for WESIS. Um, we are, our whole mission is to empower and support women and non-men in cybersecurity. Um, all our topics each meeting are a variety. We have intro CTF stuff because we are also hosting a CTF this fall. It's Halloween themed. It's pretty cool. I'm running it. You should guys should all join it. It's very fun. Um, and in addition to our meetings, we are working on creating workshops, which will be on the weekends, um, such as things like resume workshops where re leading up to um, career day, you can come in and um, we are going to like review resumes and that kind of stuff. Um, as we get closer to midterms and finals, we're looking into doing study nights where we all can just kind of like hang out, relax, have some food, and kind of like chill before the chaos of finals. Um, and as I said, with the CTF, we're going to be holding we hold we're holding one the last weekend of October. It is Halloween themed. It's very fun, um, and it's a nice. We're going to be having challenges at all levels, so anyone can join if you have been doing CTFs all summer, Aiden. Or you've been doing, <laughs> or you've been, um, or you're completely new. It's we really just welcome everyone into our CTF um, challenges, and um, don't think you have to be a woman or someone who does not identify as male to show up to our meetings. We really do encourage and appreciate everyone showing up. We do believe that we that ev anyone who comes can um, really get some good information and really value the experience that we try to provide. So yeah, I hope you guys come to our meetings. They're Tuesdays at five in this room. Um, and follow us on Instagram and we have a website and check us out. Yay. <laughs> yep. Ops IG, John is still not here. So Lucas will talk about it. All right, well, John was not here. He's the IG lead. He's cool, David said. Um, they meet in the Monday at 6 to 7 in the um, 
network security lab all the way, like the big room all the way over there on the second floor. You really, if you want to learn about infrastructure, all that cool stuff that like our art red tech runs on, you should come to the meetings. Um, it's fun. Uh, you'll get to learn more about server infrastructure, virtualization, and how we deploy the apps like um, SSO, um, CFT, uh, CTFD, uh, where we host the um, the challenges, and we also have like a server room which we can give you a preview of for like one day only, um, where you can see how we do networking. It's really complicated, complicated, but it's really cool. So you should check it out. And we also do automation, simple stuff, but it's cool stuff. So come, thank you. Yay. We have physical security, so I need Anthony, and is Garrett here? Garrett Thompson, is he in class? I don't know. This is Anthony, professional yapper. <laughs> here you go. Uh, I do this for free. So my name is Anthony Iapolo. I'm co-leading the physical security interest group with uh, Garrett Lockpick Lockpickington. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you could have the best cybersecurity in the world, but if I could just walk into your office and start plugging stuff into the computer, nah, it's not that great. So we do a lot of the physical security side of things. So you're going to see lockpicking a lot. We're going to teach you how to lockpick. We're going to go over different bypass methods and things like that. And then this year we're going to do something a little bit different. So if you're actually doing a physical engagement and you're walking into a building and you could just follow people in, then you don't even need to pick a lock. So I also want to cover some like social engineering side of things. Uh, we're basically going to teach you how to lie and gaslight people, which I feel like is kind of like. <laughs> basically, I think it's just going to be like goofing off the interest group. Uh, and that's going to be for when on Wednesdays from 6 to 7. So be there. Yeah. Thank you. Next we have Arvapt Masaki. Are you in here? Yay! No, I'm just gonna go back. Okay. Right. Hi. Uh, I'm Masaki. I'm a fourth year cybersecurity student, and um, Ishan's too lazy to show up, but he's a fifth year. Um, he. Actually, he won't even show up for the meetings either, so I don't know why I put him on here. Uh, anyways, as you can see, uh, RVAP is RIT Vulnerability Assessment and Penetration Testing uh, Interest Group, but no one memorizes that, so we just call it RVAP. Uh, it's just penetration testing. If you don't know what that is, that's just uh, offensive security where you try and uh, simulate an attack on, uh, I don't know, usually a company, hopefully something you have uh, permission to do, but... Uh, Anyways, we have meetings at, uh, on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, 6 to 7. It will consist of a presentation uh, where I teach about whatever I want and a 30-minute demo, hopefully. And allegedly, there will be a mini comp uh, the week before uh, spring, or sorry, fall break. But uh, that's if I manage to get it up. But yeah, that's about it. Um, this is Team Contagion, and Masaki, you're you're also a lead. <laughs> so here you go. Oh, Alton's coming up. Oh, and so Manav, you can also come up. All three of you. <laughs> Yay! Yo, I'm Alton. Uh, so this is Team Contagion over here for the leads. So uh, we meet on Thursday from five to six in that room, which is probably upstairs and over there. And uh, so we do like the CTF competition stuff. Uh, so let's just say if you like puzzle solving, uh, problem solving, uh, show up. We're gonna do a lot of fun stuff probably this semester. What? Why me? Hi, I'm Manav. I am not a CSEC major, but I'm, I'm okay still. <laughs> Sick. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys don't know me. I'm Masaki. Uh, I'm a fourth year. I'm also on the uh, contagion, or I'm a contagion lead. Uh, we do CTS. I'm sure you guys don't know what that is, but uh, <laughs> it's just a it's just the type of competition. Um, hopefully, we we'll, we will have uh, regular competitions that we attend, but uh, that's based also on how lazy we are. Uh, there, there will be weekly uh, CTF challenges, um, 
And assuming we get that up, uh, that's also based on how lazy the, these guys are. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else there is to say. Okay. There's allegedly a competition we're doing this weekend online, probably. So like, join the Discord. I'll probably like tell you the link later or something. Awesome, cool, and swag. Dan the Chance. Hey, everyone. So I'm one of the wireless interest group leads. Uh, the other guy's Jack. I don't think he's here right now. I think he has a class. Yeah, that's too bad. OK, so uh, we host our meetings every Wednesday from 5 to 6 PM in the NetSec lab, which is like the same room that most of these interest groups are in. So uh, it's going to be pretty easy to figure out which one that is. Uh, Come hang out. We're gonna be, I'm going to learn you a thing or two about wireless security and show you some like personal projects. And then we're also going to have some uh, PhD students come in uh, throughout the year and present on their actual research. Yeah. What's wireless security? Basically, waves in the air go, <laughs> and you connect to things wirelessly. And those things generally are not very secure. So... We have a lot of fun with that. Yeah, be there. Be a square. Cool. Sherrod, reverse engineering. Probably the most attended interest group. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, because it's so fucking stupid, that's why. What's up, guys? I'm Sherrod. What, what, what are the meetings? Oh, it's five to six. I completely forgot. So. Reversing is one of the interest groups I lead. Okay, so reversing is one of the interest groups I lead. It's Monday, huh? Thanks, David. You fraud. Anyway, uh, so we, so reversing meets between uh, Monday five and six. Um, reversing, we basically teach reverse engineering, um, as the name suggests. Uh, we teach all kinds of. I try to teach all kinds of reverse engineering. We do a lot of binary stuff, so assembly, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Maybe obfuscation, like control flow, but control flow obfuscation, that kind of stuff. Might go over that. Um, something we did a lot last year, toward the end especially, is Android apps. I'll try, probably we'll try to pick that up again. Stuff like Frida, JetX, um, all that kind of stuff. If we have time and I care to learn it, we might do like scripting, like Gidra scripting, Binger scripting, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, should be a fun time. Pretty cool. Uh, Monday five to six, yeah, in air gap. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is a more fun one. This is vulnerability research. Uh, I lead it along with some clown named Ben. Uh, he's, he's a redhead, so you know, take that with like a grain of salt. Uh, so we meet between Monday and Tuesday, 7 to 10 p.m. both days. Um, fuck you, Sip. Uh, yeah, so yeah, um, it's a lot. But the reason we're doing that is because we tried this during the summer as well, and it worked really well. Um, the objective of VRIG is basically, there's a thing called KVM CTF. You guys can look it up. It's a competition run by Google. The objective is to find a vulnerability in KVM, which is what most of your hyper, like if you run it, if you have a Linux machine and you try to start up a VM on your Linux machine, it uses KVM. Um, we're gonna try to find a vulnerability in the kernel interface for KVM. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, trying to, we're gonna try to go over stuff like fuzzing. Um, right now and probably for the next few weeks, the plan is to build like a custom hypervisor, like a kernel module custom hypervisor. Um, yeah, should be fun. Seven to ten, both days. Sorry, but that's what's needed. Anyway. Awesome, cool, and swag. I need Ronan and Adam again. <laughs> Have you noticed a lot of people in club do a lot of things? <laughs> Hello, guys. Um, so incident response interest group is kind of what it sounds. We are basically responding to incidents, responding to alerts. Um, if you are a freshman and you're looking for your first co-op, one of the most um, gone co-ops, I guess, is working a part of the Security Operations Center. And we can get you prepared for that first co-op. Um, we were a pretty beginner. Um, I kind of just started out. But I'm basically going to teach you guys how you can get yourself prepared for that first internship. If you're interested in doing any blue team, um, and we're probably the most silly interest group, I'd say. Am I missing anything? Yeah. Uh, if you guys, if you also, if you guys want to get prepared for these competitions like IRSEC, ICS, or doing blue team, we also go inside comp um, competition preparation and defense. So, um, if you're very beginner, 
and you want to learn some blue team stuff, come to iRig. Top secret tips and tricks that red team does not want you to know. Cool. Okay. So if you're sitting here and you're thinking, wow, club seems really cool. How do I become more involved than already attending all of the interest groups? We have something called a board. I think it's assistant board, application board, something. What is a board? It's like a mini e board. You get little positions that kind of run in like a little group underneath one of the e board positions. So we have web admin. You kind of you work with the vice president, so you work with Rachel. Rachel's cool, uh, and you kind of just like run our website and any other web applications that we have, like updating for our website. You'd update like say uh, e board information or like competition information that's on our website or at our weekly meeting uh, presentations on there every week. Super fun and cool. Um, if you're a social media head, you run our social media. As you know that Instagram and Twitter we told you to definitely follow and subscribe and all of the buttons that you definitely did. Um, that's what this position does. They make all of the graphics for it. Right now, Ariana S. is thankfully running all of it because she makes great graphics. Um, and that's under PR. You'd work with Kip right over there. Super fun and cool. Kip would like to speak. I completely forgot to say this when I was introducing myself. I am the Director of Public Relations. Hi. The slide said it. It's okay. <laughs> um, social events lead. This is new, fun, and exciting eboard position. It's actually not new. We had it two years ago, and they got rid of it. But we're re-adding it because it's cool. Um, you basically work with me, the president, and help me schedule social events, whether that be like a hockey night. Uh, we kind of have like the barbecue and like Letchworth, which I'll get to later, all figured out. But you'd help with any other social events that Ritzek tries or wants to host, um, which means free events for our members, which is super fun and cool. Uh, we have junior tech lead and junior ops lead. Dan, do you want to talk about it, or I can? Daniel? Uh, basically, the junior positions are like apprenticeships. So you learn from the current eboard uh, person a, how to like do their job. And then you know if you do well enough, you're going to be put in that position the following year. Um, there's a full application process and an interview process. So keep a lookout for those. All of the A board positions have application and an interview with one of the members of E board, specifically the one that's like um, your head. So like the social events lead will like meet with me for an interview. But yeah, so the the junior tech lead and ops lead, um, if you did a good enough job, uh, you'll just get voted in to the next role. So it's kind of like a two year role. Um, the other ones are not, which is fun and cool. So anybody can apply. Uh, first years through whatever year you're here. Super fun, super cool, super swag. Events, social events. We have hack nights in the club room, probably hosted by me and our secretary, Luke Peters. Uh, those are on the schedule. Hack night, you have something fun and cool you want to work on? Work on it hack night. You want to study for an exam? Work on it at hack night. That'll be like 8 to 11 on Tuesdays um, in the club room, just chilling. Uh, we also do trips, super fun. Uh, Letchworth is one of the big trips that we have. Um, Wesis has done apple picking events at one of the orchards nearby, and they hosted an ice skating event last time, which was free for all those who attended and for Wesis members, which was great. We all went ice skating, super fun and cool. You remember when I mentioned Letchworth? Letchworth is a state park near here. It's like the Grand Canyon of New York State. Ugh, I don't know. Uh, but if you want to go and you want to ride, or you are going and you have a car to give people rides, use this Google form. Please fill it out. So that way you can guarantee that you get a ride there if you're a first year and don't have a car, or another year and don't have a car. Um, this will be an announcement later, so you can also sign up later if I like skip past it. But you can totally sign up right now for it. Responses pending. Bomb. Conferences. There are a ton of cybersecurity conferences. Here are the big ones that RITSEC members kind of attend. We got ShmooCon. This is the last year for ShmooCon. It's so sad. Little do you guys know about ShmoochCon. Um, <laughs> ShmooCon, it's in DC. It's approximately either the week before we come back to classes or the week after we come back to classes. Um, the attendance there is probably like 
50% RIT people, like graduated, every, everybody goes there. That's not actually true. That's just, I know a lot of people there from RIT. Um, it's a great place to meet alumni, all of these are. Um, and they have something called Shmooza a Student, which we'll make an announcement about, but you can essentially get a free ticket and a stipend to go to this conference. You can go to a conference essentially for free super cool. There's also B-Sides Rochester. Um, B-Sides is a huge kind of like conference. They host a bunch of different ones. They have some in Las Vegas. They have some here. Um, and it's hosted, last year was hosted here for workshops and at a hotel nearby, but it's another conference, super cool. DEF CON, I've actually gone to all these conferences. Wow, I'm so cool. DEF CON, super big, super amazing. I don't know. It's really overwhelming. Uh, they have a lot of different villages, and that's kind of where like I, our interest group style comes in. Um, they're in Las Vegas. They're typically in August, first or second week of August, um, and it's just a big learning opportunity. Black Hat, big thing. It's a lot more corporate. There are a lot of organizations being like, hey, you interested in buying our tool? And I was like, I'm a student. I have zero money, and then they just like walked away from me, um, which is cool. Um, and then WESIS, WESIS has a conference, it's great, you can apply, you don't have to be a woman to apply, uh, you just have to be a member of the organization, which means you pay $20, and then you get to apply to go to the WESIS conference, and they cover your whole trip. Super fun, super cool, and it's just like an application process where you need like a letter of rec, you send it in, you send in, I want to go to the WESIS conference because I want a job, and I want to learn about and meet other women in STEM and cybersecurity. Awesome, and then you go, and then you guys have a bunch of fun and make a lot of friends and get jobs. Another plug for our calendar, now that you know all the events that we offer on the calendar. And for those who don't know, we have a club room. Club room. You good? Okay, cool. Club room, it's right upstairs like this, half of the room, it's kind of small. Bro, my slides. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, this picture, it looks so messy. But yeah, we have a club room you can come in as long as like somebody who has a leadership position in club, e-board, a-board, interest group lead, uh, WESIS e-board, ops probably. As long as you have some form of position in club, you can like, enter the room you have access and as long as somebody stays there anybody can be in there like me when I show up at 9 a.m. and then you can just pull in yeah if you don't have access and you think you should have access please contact me if you're a regular member do not contact Rachel <laughs> um, yes the room was rearranged to be fun and cool and so it's more easy to move around so people aren't like squashed together yeah, little do you know, there have been a new format for the club room every year since we have had the club room. Um, and yeah, you can just hang out there. We'll host hack nights in there. It's cool. If people pick up free food, there's typically free food dropped off into the club room. That's great. Um, yeah, I'm chilling there all the time. We got some club room etiquette. Respect others. Respect the space. If you make a mess, please clean it up. We do vacuum it, but I don't want to have to vacuum the club room every day because people were eating like something crumbly and then they got crumbs everywhere. Um, if you move a table or move a bunch of chairs around, just put it back where you found it. Respect other people. If somebody has their stuff there, um, definitely like don't just move their stuff so you can sit there. Uh, be mindful, very mindful, very respectful, very demure of you. Um, be conscious of how you represent the club. Um, just like in the club room, Try to be chill. The door is always open, so professors always walk by, and other people might be wanting to join the club will walk by. So maybe, like, don't say. Okay. <laughs> so maybe don't say anything that's <laughs> inappropriate inside the club room. Okay. Before we do demo time, mm -hmm. we're going to. Before we do demo time, we're going to show the video right this time. Oh, did we figure out the video? Uh, I'm doing on this one, so. Yay, video! I was so confused. I was like, stop here. Mm -hmm. we, okay, yes, I think we are good, right? Yes. Oh, let's go. Wait, can we get the lights? Breaking news.
We ready? All right. Lights. Okay. This just in. New information has surfaced about the 2024 election. It's a big election year coming up, 2024. A lot going on. Here are today's top political stories. <laughs> Candidates Adam Brachia of the Crypto Party is facing off against Ronan Gerber of the Corn Party. 2024 <laughs> is a big election year. New information coming out constantly. Ronan Gerber comes out with new slogan, give me Choco Chocolate Chip or give me death. <laughs> is that really? Is that really their slogan? He's got chocolate over his face. What's going on here? You really? Core? Is that all America is to these people? Yeah. Rally at the cornfield today where dueling ideologies come to a head. In a new social media statement by Adam Brachia, scathing remarks are had. See, Roman can say this and that about his corn. Where is the corn? There's no corn here. <laughs> this just in. Adam Brockie has just put out a new devastating statement against corn. The biggest problem with our nation is the unaddressing to our nation's corn. Ronan Gerber will be like, we have the best corn, we have the best corn, plentiful corn. However, he's ignoring this part of the country. We need to build back our corn, make it better. That's why I'm running for president. That's why vote for the crypto party. Shots fired from the corn party against crypto. Adam Brachia has been consistently talking about how we have no corn. I'm out here in the rural New York state. Look at all this corn. Look at all this corn. Adam doesn't want to address the real issues. We have plenty of corn. He just wants to talk about corn all day. I don't know. We have the best corn. Like, look at this. Look at this. The best corn in the United States. Vote Ronan Gerber for president. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm Bergen Linden, here to keep you updated on today's latest political stories. Okay, that was Cora. Uh, yeah, that was the intro to Cora. Guys, can you guess the theme? <laughs> Guys, I literally cried. That video is so great. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Um, and now we have demo time. Oh, we can turn on the lights. Um, Dan's going to explain the demos. Okay, so there is, I believe, about 24 challenges because uh, there's uh, 11 eboard members and about as many uh, interest groups. And so each interest group for this week and each eboard member will have a flag. Uh, it's basically just a string of characters that uh, you have to go and talk to them if you want to participate. Go and talk to them and then some point in the conversation, they could just give you the flag. They could make you work for it a little bit. Maybe they want to tell you about their interest group. I know I will. So just talk to them, and they'll eventually give you the flag. You can type it in, and you earn a nice little 10 points on CTFD. So speaking of CTFD, go up, uh, scan the QR code, make your CTFD account. The easiest way to do it is just to uh, register an account on uh, RITSEC SSO, and so that makes it so that you can access not just CTFD, but also some other stuff it, within the club. Yeah, so I'll leave this up now and have at it. Have fun. Whoop, whoop. Cool, fun, swag, funky. <laughs>